Hello there guys, um, today I'm actually doing a review on a game for the first time, so hopefully you enjoy it. It's a game I've been playing, uh, it's called Shadow of the Colossus. It's a really fun game, like, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now, I'm going to give you my things I like about the game, things I don't like about the game. So, the thing that I like about the game is it's kind of unique, so you don't actually fight, like, um, a lot of things. You, it's more boss fights, actually. You fight, like, these massive creatures. Um, you'll see one in a minute. It's, like, this massive snake underwater eel creature. Um, you fight, like, these massive creatures, and you get, and you've got, and the story is that you are this guy, you are this kid called Wonder. Um, you're trying to save this girl who I'm pretty sure has died. I don't know who she is. I think she's your... People say it's your sister, some people say it's a friend, and some people say it's his girlfriend. Uh, but you're trying to save her, and the only way to save her is by, um, obviously, um, killing these things, these creatures called Colossus, or Colossi. Um, and you're being sent on this quest by a, another, like, god demon thing um, called Dorman. Um, now this is my first time playing the game so I don't know everything so I don't know what my next creature is but um, I'll tell you this they don't speak English they speak I think it's Japanese or something um, you'll have to have a look at that yourself but you are literally your goal is to kill these massive creatures and to save this person and you're being sent to do it by this guy called Dorman, and you're in the Forbidden Lands, so no one's allowed to go there. Uh, there's no sprinting in the game, uh, which I would have liked if there was sprinting. Um, <coughs> it would have been a bit better, but you, you have a horse called Agro. Um, he's your, like, sprint, so you call him in, and he'll come and help you sprint around the place. Um... Now, my pros about this game is it's really fun, it's unique, you can kill these massive creatures. Um, the best thing about it is literally the massive creatures, they just look amazing. Now, this the creature you're seeing me fight is my second favourite, my favourite I've literally killed. It's called, uh, I can't remember what its name is, but it's like this massive bird. Um, and I really like it because my favourite, one of my favourite animals is the, is the eagle and it looks like a massive eagle. Um, now, pros, well, cons with the game, it's glitchy. I'm telling you that now. This game is pretty old, um, and I've been seeing a glitch. When I've been on aggro, I am holding my sword up. Uh, that's how you use the finder, by the way. You use, like, the reflection of the sun. You hold your sword in the air. Um, and my camera moves on its own. Now, I don't know if that is a glitch, but more than likely it is, because it's not done that with any of my other games I've been playing. Uh, but... That is what, that's the glitch I've been seeing. Also, it's the same with a bow. Like, literally, I don't know why, but ever since I do it after aggro, if I go into a colossal fight, like, maybe a minute after, I am literally going, I'm literally on holding the arrow, and it's going up in the air continuously, and I can't aim it properly. Uh, that's a con with it. That's the only, oh, another bug, camera. The camera is absolutely terrible. Um, the camera is good at sometimes, uh, but my second fight on the first day of me playing this, I literally were fighting the second Colossi, and my camera was all over the place. I could not see what I was doing. I literally, it took me ages to get on the back of the Colossus's back, and it took me ages to get onto him. Now, another thing about this game is not a con, I actually really like it is uh, the way you kill them. So, the way you kill the Colossus is that. Your first one's pretty natural, you run up to it, you jump and you go on its back. Um, you've got to find like these glyphs that are on them. Um, you have to stab these glyphs with this sword that you have. Um, you've got to stab these glyphs with this sword. And that, as you're stabbing it, you are dealing damage to them. So you might be thinking, oh, that's pretty easy. But the Colossus um, will check, they'll do anything to get you off. You have a grip amount. If you can see that like yellow circle on my so that yellow circle on the screen, that is your grip bar or your grip. Um, want that if that shrinks to zero, you let go no matter what. It, the game automatically lets you go, like it lets go on its own. 
because um, you can't hold on to them forever. If you could, then it'll be a bit too overpowered and pretty easy to kill them. Um, another thing is to kill them is you can't just always run up them and jump on the back. So if you see here, this is my first time fighting this guy. That's why it's struggling. You've got to do certain things. So this guy, I had to wait for him to go in the air. I had to wait for his tail, like his back tail. You probably see it there, his back tail. Uh, you'll see me do it in a bit. His tail will go up in the air and I had to latch on and it would take me underwater and I had to try and pull my way through and then when he went up you let go, you run and you hold back on again. It's kind of something like that. Um, some of them you will have to shoot in the foot. Um, you have to make, you have to, like, make them go stomp on you and you shoot them in the foot. Um, once you shoot them in the foot they will like maybe their leg will fall to the floor, more than likely it will, and you have to climb on their, like, there's like fur, you have to climb on that fur and make your way up the body. Um, some of them you have to, now the third one, which I can't remember the name of him, I don't really know the names of none of them, but he's like this guy and he's got like this huge massive like rock and it looks like a sword. Um, he's got like this, uh, it's like a battle arena looking thing that he has. Um, you fight him there, and you have to have him swing, he'll swing down, but it must hit like this thing, it's like this metal area, uh, you have to lead him away from it, but once you come back around to it, you will lift, he will lift his arm in the air, and you must move in time, and he'll swing and hit it, if he hits it, it breaks the armour off him, now there is ways you can do it without breaking the arm, without killing him, but it takes tactic, and it is hard. I decided just to break his armor because I want not goddamn rush the game. See, this is like one of those glyph things here. Uh, this one here, you only have to stab once. I stab it a few times, thinking, "Oh, I have to keep stabbing it," and then I realize, "Oh, it's not doing damage." Uh, so yeah, this is like one of them. Some of them you'll have to stab a few times. Some of them you might have to stab once. Um, there's a few you might have to stab every once. Like there's a few uh, every once in a while. Now there is now they all appear on different parts of the body. So the bird guy. He's not that hard. Um, you jump on him, latch on, he takes you into the air, you have to climb on his body. Best place I would say go for first, go for the tail. It is the easiest to go for. Or you could go for one of the wings, because you're just there instantly. One issue with the wings is he's going to be flapping his wings a lot, so you're not. And also, if they move. You can't like just stab them. You've got you, like your character can't really focus, and this sword will go in the air. You have to like kind of wait. So as you can see, my grip's run out there, and I've felt and I've uh, let go because my grip ran out, and I needed to regain grip. So and also, I'll tell you this thing about this game: it's free at the moment. So for PS Plus members, if you have PS Plus, um, March all the way through this month on March. Um, 2020, so the year 2020, so if you're watching this in 2021, I'll pass that. I'm sorry, but it's not free now. <laughs> um, it's March 2020, so it is March now. You can get this game for free, to so give it a go. I would recommend it strongly. It's really good, there's about 15 colossi you have to kill. And it's just an absolute amazing game. Um, if I could, I would skip to maybe one of the ends, but obviously I don't want to stretch this video out for too long. But you've kind of seen what the game is. Um, obviously, this is like a 12-minute clip, and I've been talking about eight minutes now. So that's really the game. It's really fun, and I would recommend playing it. Uh, oh, and by the way, the age is about 16, 15. So it's, don't get this to say maybe your younger child, if you're a parent watching this. I would recommend getting it for someone maybe in their teenage years, like 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, or someone, maybe if they're like a bit young but they know how to play games like this, get it them. Um, um, but literally, I recommend this game for you to buy or get and get it free and try it out. It is really fun. Um, I think the next game I'm going to do a review on is the Predator Hunting Grounds since that's com that since the beta's coming out soon. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, bye.